Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here. So I want to talk about the Daryl spinoff in this one, and more specifically, I really want to focus on Carol's return, because it really seems like Carol is going to be returning now, and I actually wonder if there's a possibility for season one. So before we go any further, obviously make sure to be a subscriber. If you do want to get more Walking Dead content like this, The Walking Dead is returning in eight days. Tomorrow we actually have a preview special. So tomorrow I'm going to do a preview special video, at, I guess tomorrow night. And any new details we learn regarding the final season, you know, as well as like some Rick Grimes news potentially or teasers and stuff like that, definitely I will be doing some videos on that. I mean, I don't know how much they're going to really get into that, but Angela Kang's going to be there. This preview special is really going to focus on the last episodes here and focus on a lot of the Commonwealth arc and some stuff like that. We're going to get, I'm, I'm guessing, a, a new sneak peek. But more than that, what I really want to see is if they do touch on some stuff regarding Rick, you know, like they, they like Chris Hardwick might ask, like, is there anything like that? Is like, how are you going to handle some of the spinoff setup? And there might be some answers there given by Angela Kang. So I'm really excited for tomorrow because it's our last preview special here for the last episodes. And after tomorrow, I mean, we're into the very final week here. You know, building up to those last episodes and uh yeah pretty pretty crazy here so like i said if you do want more walking dead content like this make sure to be a subscriber now after the walking dead is over in about two months obviously the big focus is going to be on the future of the walking dead and that's going to be you know daryl spinoff the i guess dead city as well as the return of rick grimes and michonne grimes and that's going to be something that like i i really can't wait for like i'm, I'm not going to downplay you know the the walking dead ending and how how sad that's going to be because it's sad that that show is actually going to be ending but it, it is kind of hard to say like i have to admit that it is very hard for me to be too sad about it because once it's over we're at that stage where it's like i, I at least i believe anyways certain characters will know that rick's alive and they're going to be out there trying to find him and then we're just in that stage there where, you know, mentally, I've sort of been there for like a year or two already. Like, ever since Michonne found out that he was alive, that's sort of where I've been. I've just sort of been like, okay, now everyone else just needs to find out. And no one's been finding out. Judith knows, but Judith isn't telling anyone for, for some reason. And so it's been kind of frustrating, right? And so as soon as people find out, and then we're just in that era there where now people know. And now it's all about trying to find him. And then obviously we get the return of Rick Grimes finally in about a little over a year from now i'm assuming so it's just it's just too exciting and honestly like if you just look at the online reaction if you just look at you know when they released the trailer and stuff like that for the walking dead season 11c like there was excitement there definitely but if you notice that comic-con what took over it was the rick grimes and michonne grimes uh, uh tv show announcement and and them being on stage that literally took over and it didn't just like take over it was insane like people were freaking out over it honestly I, I wish i was in that room to experience a moment like that i mean for those that were actually uh, like watching with me on twitch you know so many of us were like really you're not going to announce it because it really felt like they weren't going to announce anything with andrew lincoln and people thought well he's going to be there this and that but there was nothing and it was like what the hell did we just get fooled this whole time because it went over the time it was like they had an hour time slot and it was like five minutes over and there was still nothing. Everyone left and it was like, what, really? But then they walked on and that's where it was like, I mean, if you were there, you were there. You saw all of our reactions, right? Like it was, it was just nuts. It was, it was crazy. And so that's what I mean. The excitement right now is for the spinoffs and the future of stuff like that. And I just, I don't think you can really blame people for, for not being as excited for the Walking Dead ending because there's certain parts that are kind of exciting, but people are just so excited for the other stuff, the stuff that's actually going to matter, because it really does feel like, you know, the Commonwealth has to matter because of the comics, but it doesn't feel like it matters too, too much. You know what I mean? That's the kind of vibe I'm getting, because to me, the, the, the overall story here is finding Rick. And all of a sudden, as soon as they find out Rick's alive, you know, in the Daryl spinoff and in Isle of the Dead, or Isle of the Dead, <laughs> it's going to take a bit to get used to saying Dead City, but, you know, in Dead City, all of a sudden, the stories there are like, you know, they know Rick's alive, and they know Michonne obviously is still out there, but all of a sudden, the story is just like, it feels a little bit more important, and like, it actually really matters, because they're trying to find Rick, and then there's a Civic Republic thing that Rick is dealing with. All of a sudden, every single storyline that they're dealing with 
really matters, right? And so with that, let's actually go into the Daryl spinoff here and, and what I think is actually happening here. So the Daryl show, I believe, is going to be filming next month. Uh, I, I mean, I know there was rumors of them filming in September, but I don't think they're filming yet. But there has been stronger rumors now saying October for sure. And I mean, they've been doing casting calls. They've been doing some pre-production work there for like the last month or more now. You know, Norman Reedus has been living there for a while. So it makes sense that an October film date would, uh, I guess, would work. And I think they're going to be filming until like March next year, March, April or something like that. So that also as well kind of teases, I think, a, a kind of a summer release date almost. I feel like it's going to be dropping in August or something like that. I mean, it's very possible that this show drops in August. And then once this show's over, it's going to lead into the Rick and Michonne spinoff. I don't know how they're going to handle it. To be honest, I don't know how they're planning to release this. This could also drop maybe in June or July. You know, it, it really depends on how they plan to do it because they have Fear the Walking Dead and they have uh, Tales of the Walking Dead Season 2, which hasn't actually been officially announced yet. I don't think, is it? Or has it? I'm actually going to look this up really quick. No, it actually hasn't been renewed for a Season 2. So that's actually really interesting. I wonder if they're actually even going to renew it for a Season 2 because for some reason it hasn't been renewed yet. Most shows are actually renewed right away, but this show hasn't actually been renewed. So that's, uh, yeah, I find that a little interesting. I wonder if the reception to Tales of the Walking Dead Season 1 changed some stuff, but, you know, there are, there are certain big events events happening very soon so we'll have to wait and see regardless obviously the daryl spinoff is going to be airing at some point then and and so you know like when this show actually airs it's going to be something that's that's kind of exciting because like we're going to be focusing on daryl waking up in france and not knowing where to go because obviously that was the big tease that we got right he wakes up in france and he doesn't know how to get back the first episode i think is going to focus a lot on this just him waking up not knowing where he is, this and that, and then, you know, you go into the further episodes where he starts meeting new people, dealing with those fast and running walkers, right? And uh, that's just going to be so much fun, honestly. I really cannot wait for that. I think it would be really cool if in the first episode they did something very similar to, you know, when Daryl, or I guess not Daryl, but when Rick woke up in the, in the season one finale and he just sort of walked around the city by himself. I think it would be cool if Daryl just, like, for the first episode, really just kind of walked around by himself and he's like looking around like, where am I? And just, you know, that shock there. I think that could be such a fun thing to explore because like, it's just him by himself. He's not going to be talking. He's going to be kind of looking around like, what the hell? Like, where am I? How did I get here? And, you know, trying to figure out the pieces there. And this is where we get into some of Norman Reedus' comments here regarding Melissa McBride. And uh, I guess Carol's return, potentially anyways. And so this is what he says here in an interview with Variety. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out the article. But he says, you don't know she's not going to show up in the spinoff. I'll leave it at that. She's a very big part of Daryl's story. It's all going to be okay. And he actually talks about Melissa McBride not, you know, originally she didn't want to be a part of this. I think it was just too much for her. And I think a lot of it was because it was it was actually really rough to to film the last, you know, the last season here because they filmed for I don't even know how long. It was a long, long time. And not even that, they had bonus episodes they had to do beforehand as well. Like, it was a really crazy schedule and, and they had to do that because, you know, AMC wanted The Walking Dead to be on track in terms of releasing for that October release date or whatever the hell it was going to be. So they had a long filming schedule, right? And so they got it all done. I mean, that was really intense. That last season, they just went all out. But it makes sense to me that after all of that, you know, the Daryl spinoff filming months later, I guess maybe made it a little bit easier to, you know, to want to film that. But I think the idea of them going to Europe for Melissa McBride was probably like, you know what? That's just, I've been doing this for so long. I'm so tired. Now I have to go to Europe to do that. Like, no, <laughs> right. I mean, I don't know what the reason is. I, I obviously I'm just speculating. I have no idea the real reason, but she seems to want to be involved. And honestly, I, I'm really excited for that. And I, I really cannot wait for Carol to come back. And I really like what he says here about it. You know, like, again, he says like, you don't know that she's not going to show up on the spinoff. I'll just leave it at that. She's a very big part of Daryl's story. It's all going to be okay. And, you know, Norman Reedus, I have noticed a lot, like, online, he's been very much, like, really pushing the fact that, you know, he wants Carol around. He loves Melissa McBride. He wants her to be a part of all of everything here. And I think she really wants to be, too. And so now, and also, also Gimple, people at AMC and stuff have said they want her to come back as well. So I think it's really just trying to figure out how. 
right? And so I think, you know, after a while, she's had a break for a while. I, I do believe for season two, that is likely going to be the case. But I actually wonder if there is a chance for season one, right? Like maybe she's not filming right now because obviously she couldn't. That was the original thing, right? And they probably worked with the scripts and stuff like that. So, you know, she probably can't show up right now. But I wouldn't be surprised if she showed up in a post credit scene for the season one finale, you know, teasing her return in season two. I think that makes so much sense. And I, uh, I I can't wait. To be honest, I actually really can't wait. And that's kind of my prediction with it is I do think Carol is going to return. I think she could play a pretty big role in season two, but I think she could show up in season one. But it just depends on what Daryl's story is going to be like then. Like, is Daryl going to return back to America in the first season or is he going to be over there? And does Carol go there, right? Like, how is that all going to work? And so if Carol goes over there, Carol has to find out somehow that Daryl's in France. And so there's a lot of interesting aspects to this, right? And obviously, you know, story-wise, there's going to be a lot of little things they have to deal with, right? Like if Daryl goes back to America, why doesn't he go back to Alexandria, right? Because there's going to be those questions. It's funny because that's sort of been a thing with Marvel and stuff, right? Like, oh, if there's a problem over here, why don't they get the other superheroes to deal with it? Or why don't the Avengers just deal with this as well, right? There's always those type of questions and they sort of have to explain. It's like, well, this was more of a smaller story here. These events happen pretty fast or or this and that. They're sent away to go deal with this. And so I think with this, it's going to be something where Daryl maybe has the intention to go back but then things happen where he can't really go back yet, right? It's going to be stuff like that. But yeah, I actually do wonder, you know, I really wonder how long Daryl's going to spend out there. Because, I mean, is he going to be out there for three or four seasons? Is, the, is his whole spinoff set out there? Or is this just the first part of his spinoff? And maybe his spinoff is really like centered on traveling a lot more into different locations. You know, Norman Reedus has that show Ride with Norman Reedus. He loves traveling all over the world. I could totally see that being the case here with this Daryl spinoff, where maybe they travel around quite a bit. It's not just France, it's other places as well, right? So, yeah, I would like to see where this is actually all going to go, and I'm really excited for Carol's return. I do think at this point, Carol is basically going to return. I think it, it would just be insane for her not to return, and I, I really feel like the ending on the show might indicate that as well, right? Like, the ending on the show might indicate that her story's really not wrapped up yet, so... I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. I mean, Carol, they could have written something there just in case, right? Like, like who knows? Because I, I, like Norman Reedus does say that, you know, she kind of went back and forth on deciding, like, she wanted to be a part of it, then she didn't want to be, then she wanted to be. And a lot of that was, again, due to that schedule, right? Because, like, she, they were filming for, uh, it felt like two years straight. <laughs> like, I don't blame her. I mean, that I don't even understand how you could have done that. But, yeah, anyways, I'm going to leave it here. Definitely post your predictions down below for how you think Carol's going to return. Do you think it could be in the season one finale or do you think it's going to be in season two? Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.